This is a video by Particle Project demonstrating how to set up cold staking on a Ledger hardware wallet. Plug your Ledger Nano S into your computer. Press the two ledger buttons to initiate the setup process. Press the right button to start the process. Choose an eight digit pin code. Re-enter your eight digit pin code. Write down your recovery phrase. Re-enter your recovery phrase. Once your recovery phrase is re-entered, the device will process it, and you'll get a message saying your device is ready. Next, hit both buttons twice to move on to the next step. On your computer, open Ledger Live. Hit the button that says your device is ready, and hit the Ledger Nano S. Answer the three security questions. Wait for Ledger Live to verify your device. Then on the device, tap the right button to allow Ledger Manager. Once all three security checklists are done, you'll move on to a password lock screen. Go ahead and enter a password and confirm it and continue. All right, your device is ready. And you're ready to start adding coins into your ledger. Switch back to Ledger Live on your computer and wait for Ledger Live to authenticate your ledger. In Ledger Live's app catalog, find Particle and install the app on your ledger device. It's important to note that Ledger Live doesn't use the particle emblem you may be used to seeing. Therefore, it may be easier to just use the search bar. Next step is to connect Ledger to Qt. First, launch Particle Qt on your computer. Go to File, HD Wallet. If it's the first time you're setting up a wallet on this computer, or if you don't have any wallet.dat file in your particle config folder, then Particle Qt will automatically bring you to this section. Click on the Hardware Device tab. Connect your Ledger Nano S to your computer via USB. Make sure the device is properly unlocked and connected to Ledger Live. Click on Import. When you're Particle Qt Wallet says, waiting for device. Follow the instructions displayed on your Ledger Hardware Wallet screen. Your Particle Qt client is now ready to be used in conjunction with your Ledger Hardware Wallet. Let's receive a transaction. Go through the usual process of generating a new address and receiving a transaction. Okay, once you confirm that you received a transaction, and you're ready to go. Now we can start moving forward to uh, setting up cold staking. Before we set up the next section of this video where we enable cold staking on your Ledger device, it's important to pause the video now and follow the instructions that are provided in the blog for setting up a particle cold staking node. You're gonna need that information in a separate document because we're going to copy and paste it in as we enable cold staking onto your Ledger device in the next portion of the video. So go ahead and pause, and then once you're ready, resume this video. Open the debug window by going in help, debug window, console. Enter the following command and make sure to replace key from staking node by the public key you noted earlier.
fast track the activation process. Create a brand new 256-bit address on Particle QT by going to the Receive tab and by clicking on Request Payment. Make note of the new generated address somewhere. Go to Particle QT settings by clicking on Particle Core Preferences. Activate Coin Control by clicking on the Wallet tab and checking Enable Coin Control Features. Click OK to close the Preferences window. Go to the Send page by clicking on the Send tab. Click on the New Inputs button to open Coin Control Features. Select one output and address containing coins by checking the box next to it and close Coin Control by clicking OK. Do not enter anything in Custom Change Address. Enter 0.01 part as the transaction amount and the new address you just created moments ago as the destination address. This will move the remaining of the output's balances to be transferred over to a cold staking address. Click Send, Yes. Particle QT will prompt you to follow the steps displayed on your Ledger Hardware Wallet screen. Confirm the transaction on your device if the transaction details are correct. Repeat the above coin control steps with other outputs if necessary, doing them one by one, and do so until all outputs have been transferred over to the cold staking addresses. When selecting your next outputs, be sure not to select any outputs starting with 2, as these are cold staking outputs that have already successfully delegated their staking weight to your staking node. If it has a P in front of it, that's a particle address that still needs to be transferred over. You can either leave the dust amounts contained in the addresses you use to send the part transactions, or transfer them somewhere else. Finally, to send funds to another address, click on Particle QT Send tab. Enter your transaction details, part amount and destination address. Click Send Yes. Particle QT will prompt you to follow the steps displayed on your Ledger Hardware Wallet screen. Confirm the transaction on your device if the transaction details are correct. And that completes our tutorial. Thank you for watching how to set up a Ledger Nano S for cold staking.